There comes a point for many of us when we feel lost, like something essential is missing in our life. And so we begin the journey of the seeker. And we begin to search the world in all four directions for peace, for substance, for love. We look in the quietude of the forest and in nature. We look to the silence of the sky. We look to the stillness of the sunrise and though we catch glimpses of peace, they come and go and somehow we can't hold on to them. We even look to find comfort through our possessions. We look to find a sense of feeling important and valuable through positions and titles and through relationships. And the only reason we search so deeply is because at some point we had the beauty we feel we've lost. And then the day arrives when we go on the right journey, away from the external, into our own being. There comes a time when the seeker goes within and let's go of all the stories of the world. Let's go of all their memories and baggage. And the seeker becomes quiet and finds that the door they had been looking for is within them. When we enter into that door, there is a sacred, beautiful, precious stillness of the soul. And in this stillness, we know that we are absolutely divine and connected to the supreme and beautiful one. And all of a sudden it becomes very clear that those little pieces of peace we got through looking at the forest or the beauty of the sunset. Those were only reflections of the beauty of the song. They were only mirrors that reminded me that that kind of beauty exists within me. And so the seeker's journey comes to an end when we enter the door of our mind and go into the sanctuary of the soul, unleashing our beauty into the world.